Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to discover your computer specs of your laptop computer or your desktop computer and it's very easy and free. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. There's a few ways and I'll show them to you. Go down to your start menu, right click, go up and left click on system and that will bring up an information window where you'll be able to see information about your PCs being monitored, your virus and threat protection, firewall information, and so forth. And then down here, you'll see under device specifications, you'll see the name of your computer, your processor, um, as well as your processor speed, the amount of RAM that you presently have installed, your device ID, product ID, your system type, and pin and touch, whatever, if you had something going on there. And then Windows specification, what version of Windows you're running, as well as the um, date that you actually installed Windows on your computer. Okay, um, also there's another way to get some additional information, and that is on this same page, go up and click right over here system info left click on that and that will give you some additional information um, some of it is repetitive from the um, information page that you just saw however um, it is still pertinent information and it also will give you the work group uh, name in this case it's called work group unless your computer um, was named a different work group name and it will also tell you that Windows is activated, which is important information that uh, sometimes you want to know if your Windows 10 installation is actually genuine and active. All right, um, there's another way to get some um, additional information that's totally free and built into Windows 10. And we can do that by going down to the search bar here or if you don't have the search bar for whatever reason you can right click on the start menu and when you do go up and click on run and you can put this in from, uh, type this word in right on this command prompt here or on the search bar right here and that would be DX I'm gonna paste it in by the way DX DIAG um, DX dog and then go ahead and hit the enter key and once you do, you'll get this information page here, the DirectX Diagnostic Tool. And you'll get five tabs. The first one is System. The second one is Display, Sound 1, Sound 2, and Input. And on the first page, you'll get a lot of really good information, specifically um, information that you didn't see in the previous ways of looking at info on your computer. You, on this one, you'll actually see the system manufacturer and the model number of your computer. In this case, this is an Acer Aspire A515-51. And it will also tell me the bias version number. In this case, it's V1.21. And it tells me also the page file and it tells me what DirectX version I'm presently running on my graphics here. So that's some really good information. And also if we go ahead and click on next page, it moves to the next tab, which is the display tab and gives me a lot of good information about my graphics card that I am running. And as you can see, it gives me the uh, ability to determine how much memory it's using and the current display mode. And that's just a few things um, that it tells me. And over on the right hand side, it gives me the main driver, the version number, the date of the driver and so forth. And I can scroll over here and get the rest of that information if I choose to. Also, um, we can go to sound one and it gives me information on my speakers, USB audio device, which I'm presently using. I have a um, headset plugged in and it tells me the drivers that's being utilized for that. And if I go to sound two, it'll give me the information for the built-in speakers for this laptop computer. And of course, as everybody knows about laptop 
speakers they're not the best and if you don't have a headset you can definitely use them in a pinch and also it uh, gives me the driver information for the sound card that's built into the computer as well and then the last one is input information um, device names uh, such as mouse keyboard and so forth um, really good information to uh, make use of so at any given time if you like to you can always click on save all information if you like and that way it's easily accessible um, at any given time all right I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and the last way to get some really good information very quickly and this one is not built into Windows 10 however it's a free download um, if you don't already know about it and it's called CPU ID let me go ahead and move that over to the center here and this is excellent and you can download this from the internet and I'll leave the link um, the download link in my video description so you can download this if you do not already have it uh, installed on your computer and once it's installed um, if you go ahead and double click on it it'll go and gather information about your computer um, in this case my laptop and once it's finished gathering that information it'll display it here and this is a whole host of great information that uh, gives me everything I want to know about my CPU, my caches, my main board, my memory, my SPD, uh, my graphics, and it also allows me to do some benchmarks as well um, if you're interested in those. And that's great to have that built in. And again, this is called CPU-Z by um, cpu uh, D uh, and uh, or CPU ID I'm sorry about that CPU ID CPU Z and um, this is great and this one is just happens to be version number 1.870 um, 64 bit and the nice thing about this CPU Z is that they're always improving it and putting out out um, putting out updates um, constantly um, so that you can always get the latest version for free and there's no adware or malware associated with uh, this free download by the way okay um, that's it for this video thanks for watching and if you would like to subscribe to my channel um, you can always come down to the lower right hand corner of the screen down here and click on the subscribe button right here Okay, have a great day.